Never forget subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Can Taylor Swift's 1989, Taylor's version, debut with 1 million copies? In about a month and a half, Taylor Swift will release her next album, 1989, Taylor's version. The re-recorded edition of her pop blockbuster is already one of the most highly anticipated drops of 2023, and when it arrives, it's bound to launch with a huge debut sum. But just how large will that first week number be? Can Swift manage 1 million units with a re-recorded album? 1989, Taylor's version, will be the fourth album that Swift has re-recorded and re-released as part of a project that aims to give her some control over her first six full lengths. Her first three all opened at number one on the Billboard 200 albums chart, and they're becoming bigger and bigger with each new drop. Each subsequent title she unleashes launches atop the tally with a larger debut sales week than its predecessor, and there's no reason to believe that 1989, Taylor's version, won't be the biggest yet. So far, the grandest debut among Swift's re-recorded albums belongs to her most recent, Speak Now, Taylor's version. That set began its time atop the Billboard 200 with 716,000 equivalent units. That's a massive starting sum for any title, let alone a re-recorded effort. But it's also a far cry from how the original performed. When Swift released the original Speak Now in 2010, it hit number one on the Billboard 200 immediately thanks to 1,047,000 copies sold. The re-recorded version arrived in the same position with a little less than 70% of the first edition's first week total.